פלקה דוש, בוקר אור, מסך הגיטין דף פי זין עמוד א', 87A1. הגמרא is talking about that when a person came and they had three, five people, right? חמישה שכתבו כלל, which means that you had five people coming and writing again. הכי דמי כלל, הכי דמי תופס. What is a כלל and what is a תופס? Which means, what does it mean when a person comes and he writes the general part of the get? or the tofes of get. Remember that the tofes is going to be for every single person individually, or one get, and they just wrote everybody, uh, Mr. So-and-so and so-and-so, divorce, Mr. So-and-so, Mr. Mr. So-and-so, Mr. and then all the rest was the same. So says the Gemara, Rabbi Yochanan comes and he says, right, we're on Pevamun Bat Amobet, just on the bottom, the last line, where it says if that if a person made one zman, one date for everybody, that's called a klal. If he did zman lechol echa veechad, one zman for every single person, it's called a tofes. The Shakish comes and he says, Afilu zman echa lekulan, even if you have one time for everybody, it's still considered a tofes. Ela heche dami klal, what is a klal? Te katab that he wrote, Anu ploni, u ploni, gerashu shetan ploni, u ploni. That is the klal. The klal means the klal has nothing to do with the time. It has to do with the names. Meaning if you come and you put all the names in one bunch, right? Mr. So-and-so, 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 And then all the rest of the get, that's called klal. Okay? Now this is where we're starting. Matki flar biyaba says peizayin mudalif. Matki flar biyaba, Rabbi Yabba comes and he asks, according to Rabbi Yochanan, according to Shurat Rabbi Yochanan, ya de'amar, zman echal lekulan zeh klal, that he says that when you're going to do zman echal lekulan, that's considered klal, lechush dilma kichat musadeh abatra ahu dechatim. Why don't we suspect that when the edim are going to come and sign, they were only signing on the last group. Meaning like this, you're going to have 20 names. Right? Or, okay, let's not even say 25 names. It doesn't matter how many names, but there's a few names. Why don't I just say the witnesses that are signing, they're only signing on the last name. On the last name. On Mr. So-and-so and Mrs. So-and-so. And that's it. Milo, Tanya, didn't we learn Adib Chatumim al-Shelat Shalom Beget Pasul? So says the Gimera, didn't we already learn that when you have witnesses which are signed al-Shelat Shalom, which is at the, be- the bottom of a get, it's going to the get is Pasul? Because Chayshin al-Shema al-Shelat Shalom Chatumim, which means that you have a get. And on the bottom I say, שלום, מרדכי, התגגעתי אליך מרחוק, כן, שבועיים ימים, זה היה מורגש כמו חודשיים. כן, אפילו תמונות, שום דבר, כן, זה. ואז יש לך שאלת שלום, then you have a signatures. The get is פסול. אז I'm going to suspect that the edim were signing on the שאלת שלום on the letter and not באמת on the get. So says the Gemara, no, love it, my love, didn't we already say, אמר ביבו, says ביבו. For me, it was explained to me that which Rabbi Yochanan explained. Sha'alu pasul. If sha'alu bishlom ploni, the get is pasul. Why? Because in such a case, right, it's mashma that it's like a separate entity. Vishalu, if it has a vav, and they did she'elat shalom, the vav is vav achibur. You ever heard of it? What is vav achibur? It connects. Meaning, If you come and you say a new, a new paragraph, it's a new paragraph. But if you write and, that means it's a continuation, right? In English, you can't really do that because you can't start a sentence with the end, but it doesn't matter, right? But I'm saying it means that if you would have end, that's a continuation of what you said before. So if you say, and that's a she'elat shalom, it's going to be a kosher get. If it just says sha'alu, it's a non-kosher get. Because that means that the two witnesses were only in the she'elat shalom and they had nothing to do with the get. Hachanami, so to hear, dichtiv be esretim, ploni, uploni, uploni. which means ploni megadesh, uploni, uploni megadesh. Meaning that once it said the vav on each one, and Mr. So-and-O, and, 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 so it's like the, you know, ve'et, 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 you know, it's like the vav, vav achibu. The two, and furthermore, according to Rabbi Yochanan, that he says, zman echa lekulam, right, zman echol echad, sorry, is considered tofes, that as everyone has a different zman, it's considered tofes. My idea, mishum tofes, what do I care about a tofes for kol echad? One second. It was written during the day and signed during the nighttime. Which means, gitim which are written and signed on different days, you have to make them pasul. Right? And therefore, it's because of that, not nothing to do with tofes or not tofes. It's, it's signed on a different day. It has to be written and signed on the same day. So, Amalev Mor Kashisha Bereder Rechastas, Mor Kashisha, he says Mor Kashisha, Bereder Rechastas, Mor Kashisha, This is what we said in the name of Yochanan. It's written, right, and then it's written, which is the same day. 
Kidesh Ploni, Ploni. So from such a case, we're going to say that it's only because of the Din, which is only going to be on the last get, and not because of Nechtam Bayom, because Be'amet was done on the same day. So since everything was done on the same day, so if it's going to be kosher because of that mitzad that. Okay? Next. Amale Ravina Ravashi. Says Ravina Ravashi, according to Reshakish, the Amar Zman Echa Lekulan, according to Reshakish, he says that it's going to be Zman Echa Lekulan, Nami Tofes Havi. It's also considered Tofes. Vechi Dami Klal. So what's considered Klal then? Tichtiv Behachi, that it's written, Anu Ploni, U Ploni, Gerashu Nishotenu Ploni, U Plonit. In Seu Shtena Shim Itgar Shobe Get Echad. So it comes out that there are two women divorced with one get. But Torah Amra, and the Torah says, Vekatav La Sever Kulitut. Lal velola chaverta, which means the the get Lame. has to be designated for her. It cannot be for more than one woman. So the fact that it's for a few women and it's not for one woman, it says a katavla. So for her, velola chaverta, not for a friend. So that's why it's going to be considered a bad get. So therefore, how could you come and you tell me that it's going to be a kosher get? The katavla has to be only for her, not for anybody else. When I answers. The Ahada Katav that at the end the Sofer wrote down, Ploni Gidesh Plonit, U Ploni Gidesh Plonit, which means even though at the beginning they made like a cholent, like it was salad, everyone was together, which means the beginning they wrote down, we, uh, let's say, Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda, Isachar, Zevulun, divorced our wives, right? Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Leah, you know, you continue going, right? At the end, they did write down Ploni Gidesh Plonit, right? Ruven with uh, whatever her name is, uh, Frecha, right? Uh, Shimon with uh, Orowena, right? Levi with Estrella, right? Yehuda with uh, Fatima, right? Exactly, with, uh, you know, you keep on going. That's a meaning that even though at the beginning they made like a general, we, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, divorced, A, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, C, D, F, G, but that's all together. This one game, you can't do that. She said, no, at the, big, at the bottom, he did write down so-and-so to her, so-and-so to her, right? You know, plony to plony, 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 okay? So, Amalei Ravina Ravashi, he says, Ravina Ravashi, Umayishna Mehadetanya, what's the difference between that and that which we learned in Abraita? Hakotev kol nechasav lishne avadav. If you're going to write all your properties to two different servants, kanu, they, they, they acquired everything. So it comes out that each one became free. Umeshachrin zedzen, each one have to free each other. So therefore, he comes out, and basically one more time, he wrote all his properties to two of his servants. Right? So now they split it. But now one second. I get 50% of one servant, another servant gets 50% of the other servant. Meaning, each servant gets, so what do they do? They acquire everything, and then they have to free each other. Did we say, it had to be with two different shtarot? Which means, so this is a question against what we just said. Just like over there, they needed two different documents to free them. So to you know, to do different gitin to free the two different women. So says the Gemara, right? So you're right. And therefore, in such a case, it comes out you cannot divorce two different women with one get. So Tanya Kaveted Rabbi Yochanan, the Tanya Kaveted Rabbi Reshakish. We learn right according to Rabbi Yochanan, we learn to write according to Reshakish. Tanya Kaveted Rabbi Yochanan, we learn to write according to Rabbi Yochanan. Hamisha Shekatul Betoch Gevuni, or five people that they wrote down inside of the get. Ish Ploni Megeresh Ploni. Uploni ploni, to ploni ploni, to zmane chale kulana one time for everybody. Vayedim in mata and the edim are going to be on the bottom. Kulam kshirim, everything is going to be kosher. Vetinaten lechol echa ve'achat. You're going to give a one to each woman. Zman lechol echa ve'achat. If you're going to have a time separately for every single one. Vayedim in mata and the edim are going to be on the bottom. Et shadim nikrim yamo, so the bottom one which the edim are called with them is going to be kosher. Rabbi Yudah ben Metera, when Rabbi Yudah ben Metera comes and he says, Emir shervech benehem, if there's going to be revach between them, pasul. They're going to become pasul. And if not, kasher, it's going to be kosher. She'en zman mafsikam. Because the time is not going to be mafsikot. What does it mean? It's not going to divide them. Which means that you see from here that the chatimata edim is going to be for each one separately. So Tana Kavate de Rashakish, we learned to write according to Rashakish. So this is a proof according to Rabbi Yochanan, by the way, that he says that as long as the, that means basically that the chatimata edim is going to be only for the, the bottom one because Right, it's only if there's no zman, right? Because if there's going to be as there's no zman mafsikan, then it's everything's going to be kosher. If there's a zman which is hefsek, a pasek, so then that's it. So Tana kaveted the Rashakish. We're going to learn according to Rashakish. Chamisha shekatvu klal betoch get. You have five people that they wrote a klal inside of the get. We divorced. Ploni, ploni, grashnu, shteni, right? The A B C D E F G, all those ones, right? 
everything's going to be kosher. That means according to the Shakish, everything's going to be kosher. If you have time in between each one of them, and if they had a space in between each one, the edim are on the bottom. The only one which is kosher is the one which has the witnesses are written with them. Kasher, it's going to be kosher. Right? Rabbi Mino, Rabbi Mino says, even though there's not going to be space in between them, pasul, it's going to be pasul. Why? Shazman mafsikan. Because the time is going to be mafsik. The shakish, and according to the shakish, my idea, what are we dealing with? Zman lechol echav echad. Right? Zman with every single one of them. Amar, he said, Zman echad lekula nafi tofes afam. According to him, even if you have one zman, it's still considered tofes. Meaning, according to the Shakish, why did you have to say that it's talking about that there's a time, a date, with every single one? Even one date for everybody, it's still considered tofes. So he answers, Hanamila, when do we say these words? Only if you didn't mix up the names at the beginning. But over here, that you did mix them together. If there's a time between them, in, then yes, it's going to be considered tofes. The law law, and if not, it's not going to be considered tofes. The kol echav echad says the Mishnah. He zayin mud alef on the bottom. Says the Mishnah. Shnei gitim shekatvan zeh betzad zeh. Imagine you have two different gitim written one beside each other. Okay, so two different gitim. One one. You have a picture here on the bottom, right? Ushneim ushneim edim ivrim ba'im itachad zeh letachad zeh. And you have two different ones beneath them. Ushneim edim yevanim ba'im itachad zeh letachad zeh. And you have two different ones. Right, which are Yevanim, right? Be Yevanit underneath. Et Hadim Arishonim Nikrei Mimokasher. The first get which the Hadim are written with them, it's going to be kosher. Et Echad Ivri VeEchad Yevanim VeEchad Ivri VeEchad Yevanim Ba Yimitachat Zel Tachat Zeh. So, but what happens if you had one Hebrew and one Yevani, one Hebrew and one Yevani? So they're both going to be pasul. Meaning, if you had Ivri Ivri Yevani Yevani, this one's kosher, this one's pasul. If you have Ivri Yevani Ivri Yevani, both of them be pasul. That's what the Mishnah says. So it says the Gemara. Yes, the Kilu Katuv be Yivanit. Edim Chatumim be Yivanit. Okay, so he comes now and he says like this. Okay, they're Yehudim, but they're Katuv be Yivanit. Yeah, it's just the way it's 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 written. Yeah, says the Gemara. Ve'litkasher Hay be Reuven, ve'Hay be Ben Yaakov Ed. Says I don't understand you. Imagine right now. Look, look here. I've got two witnesses. I've got Reuven. And then I have Ben Yaakov Ed. That's what you sign. Ruven, the first name. Ben Yaakov, son of the father, Ed. So when you, why don't you make this one kosher because of the Ruven? And this one kosher because of Ben Yaakov Ed. And the same thing with the next one. Kehat Ben Levi M. Ed. Same thing. This one kosher because of Kehat. This one Ben Levi Ed. Why? Vahai, right, Ben Yaakov Ed. The Hatsnam was learned in Mishnah. Ben Ish Ploni Ed Kasher. Imagine you write down Ben Shlomo Ed. You heard. A person comes and he ben writes Shlomo. down Ben Shlomo Ed. It's kosher. That's it. What about the first name? Without the first name. So the answer is the Gemara. They katav Ruven Ben and then Akama. And then you wrote down Yaakov Ed. It's better. No. If you would have wrote that, you're correct. Because Ben Shlomo Ed is a name. You're Ben Shlomo. But you're not David Ben Shlomo Ed. Because that's, that's incorrect. Because that means you're saying Kilu that Shlomo was in it, and you're David Ben. Your name is not David Ben. You understand? So and, and your name is not Shlomo Ed. Your name is not Shlomo. So that's why it's not good. Okay? So ask the Gimara Vilit Kasher Hai Biruven Ben. Fine. Make the first one kosher with Ruven Ben. Vilit Kasher Hai and make the other one kosher with Yaakov Ed also. That's the numbers we learned in the Mishnah. Ish Ploni Ed Kasher. If you just write down Ish Ploni, it's going to be kosher. Right? So answer the Gemara, the Lokata Ed. No, you wrote down David Ben, and then you wrote down Shlomo, but you didn't write down Ed. We by Tema, if you want, you can answer. Even if you did write down Ed, we know that it's not Yaakov, meaning that if we know that it's not Shlomo's signature, what does it help? Shlomo Ed. It wasn't Shlomo that was there. It. it was David Ben Shlomo that was there. So that's why it doesn't help. Says the Gemara, page 87b. The Dilma Bishmada Ruachatim. Maybe he always signs the name of the father. Meaning, even though your name is David, maybe you're going to sign by Shlomo. Yeah? So it says, Nobody will ever leave their own name and sign the name of the father. Meaning, people don't do that. People will sign by their own name. They won't leave their own name 
right? And just sign by the father's name. So because of that, it doesn't help. Okay? The Dilma Simana Shavya. says, one second, maybe he made a Siman. Why? The Harav, Tzadik Kabra. Rav, he used to sign as a fish. You remember we explained this many times. Why, why would Rav sign as a fish? Um, fish. fish is a mazal. Not only mazal. Why? Because the Gemara Bab Metziah says that Rav went to the Beta Kavarot. No, why? Because there it says in the Gemara Bab Metziah, he went to the Beta Kavarot and he saw that 99 out of 100 people died because of Ainara. So because of that, his signature was a fish. Yeah, that was a very famous. This is Rav. Yeah. So Rav Tzir B'Kibra, he used to come and he used to always make a fish. That was his signature. Rabbi Hanina, Haruta, an Afshel Dekel, a palm tree. Rav Chasta, a Samech. Yeah? Rav Oshaya, Ayn. Rav Rav Huna, Machuta, was like a sail of the boat. So you see from here that they make Siman even. Siman is already good enough. Answers the Gemara, Lo Chatsi Finish L'Shavuya L'Shma Da'avu HaSimana. A person will never have a chutzpah to make his father's name into a Siman. I mean, you want to make a siman, you want to put a uh, boss, you want to put, I don't know what, ah, you can make a siman. But your father's name is a siman? That's chutzpah. You understand? That's already chutzpah. You understand? That's uh, fine. Says the Gemara, V'litkashir hai b'shnei adim ibrim, V'litkashir hai b'shnei yivanim. Says, one second. You had two witnesses Hebrew, two witnesses yivanim. Why don't you make them kosher? Both kitty. These ones are the two of the ibrim, and these ones are the two of the yivanim. The Tanam, as we learned in A, Mishnah. Yeah, we learned in the Mishnah. Get she katvo ivrit ve'edim ve'edav ivanit ivanit ve'edav ivrit kasher. Whether you have a get that you wrote in ivrit and you sign it ivanit or ivanit and you sign it ivrit, it's going to be kosher. So it should be kosher. The chitim and if you're going to tell me, given the move like Mishnah shitim, that if it's going to be in two different uh, uh, lines, law that you can't do that. Amar chizki achizki says no bikrovim. If you filled it up with uh, krovim, meaning you filled up a whole bunch of signatures with family members. Still going to be kosher. Why? Because there's a rebach, and therefore it's going to be okay. But you had the kosher witnesses first, and then you had other witnesses. So, they're both going to be kosher. Says, no, because maybe they met, they signed it, the witnesses came and they signed it, first their names and then their fathers, the kulu achad hu de chatim, and really they met, whether it's the first ones, it's all they met the same thing. Meaning, it's without edim at all. Right, he says, why? He comes and he says, um, all the four witnesses, right, they only sign on the on the one on the right, which means that they first wrote down all the Arbat Adim, right, uh, or on the, meaning that they put their, their names on the right, and then their father's names on the left. And even though Bader Khalala Yavanim, they first put down their father's name first, in this case, the Adim and Yishonim that they wrote down in the Hebrew, we're going to suspect that the Adim Yavanim they changed their minag and they did it like their father. Like they, they, they also did their, their, their name first. And therefore it comes out that all four were on the same get. It wasn't two and two. It was all four on the same get. And that's why we say that it's not going to be a kosher get. Next, two dots. Why, why can't it be kosher? One with one ed Hebrew, one ed Yivani. That one also is the same name. And so it's like, the so Atanazide says, you're right, they're both going to be kosher, according to Zide. So it means it comes out that according to Zide, both Gitim in their Mishnah was kosher. And also in our Tana, the same thing. Maybe one of the Edim, they sign up normal. You have three witnesses on one get and one on the other get. So since you have three and one and one another one, it's not going to be kosher. Okay? Fine. Mishnah. Pezana Mubet. Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, Shiyem Mitzat Get of Uktavo Badaf Hashini. Imagine right now you left part of the get empty, right? When you part of the get, you you didn't finish it, and you wrote it on the other side. Okay, Vaidim Ilamata, Vaidim on the other side. Kasher is going to be kosher. Chatmu Adim Berosh Adaf. What happens if they came and they sign on the top of the page, or on the side? Or Meachore Beget, or the the back and the get pasul. It's going to be pasul. Hikif Rosh Hashel Zeh Betzad Shel Zeh Vaidim Beemsa. What happens right now? If they put the um, the top part of the get right with the other part of the get, um, meaning it's upside down, you see the picture? It's like you have like this. You understand? So and you have it in the picture, number fifteen. Yeah, right here. Okay. 
So he comes and he says, right, Vedim Baemsa, and the Edim are in the middle, Shnem Pzulim. So Foshal Zeb, it's Foshal Rose, it's Vedim Baemsa. So whichever one that the Edim are read with, it's going to be kosher. Roshoshal Zeb, it's Foshal Rose, it's Vedim Baemsa. you have the top, and then you have the, the next one, sorry, right underneath. And the witnesses are in the middle. The ones that are, the witnesses are, are at the end, it's going to be kosher. That means the bottom one didn't have witnesses. Because the witnesses was in between. So it's not going to be kosher. The bottom one, only the top one. Get she katvo ivrit, ve edav yivanit. What happens if the get was written in ivrit and the witnesses in ivanit? Or yivanit and the edav yivrit. Ed echad ivri ve ed echad yivanit. Ktav sofer ve ed kasher. It's all these cases are going to be kosher. Say it one more time. Ivrit and yivanit, yivanit, ivrit. One witness in ivri, one witness in yivani. Or ktav sofer and ed ed echad. It's going to be kosher. Next. Ish ploni ed kasher. Ben ish ploni ed kasher. Ish ploni ben ish ploni velo katav ed, it's still going to be kosher. The kach ayah neki adab Yisrael Mosim, that's what they used to do. They wouldn't actually add ed. They used to do ben ploni ben ploni, that's it. They wouldn't add ed at the end. Nowadays we make sure that we do all of them, but just to make sure. Okay? Katav chanichato vachanichata kasher. Even if he wrote the nickname of his chanicha and her chanicha, and they didn't write down the names of the fathers, it's still going to be kosher. Sometimes they do that, by the way. But if they don't know the the name of the father, they won't they won't write it down. They won't write down the name of the father. You understand? They'll just you know okay, fine. Says the Gemara. Says the Gemara. One second. If you have two different things, why don't we suspect that it's going to be two different gets? And therefore, you have the zman at the first one, and the dim is only the second get. He's going to cut off the time from the second one. They deem the common, they deem on the first one. So why don't we suspect that? So Amar Abiyava Amarav says Abiyava Amarav, there's space on the bottom. So the fact that there's space on the bottom, you know that nobody cut it off mm-hmm. because you still see the space. So nobody cut something off on the bottom, there was something else there. They do that legally. Huh? Yeah, exactly. They, they make sure that there's always, you know, thing and they'll put, uh, you know, they do a whole bunch of different tricks nowadays. Yeah. You have to initial every bottom of the page, they'll make a stamp on the side of every single page, so that way, like, on the side of all of them, so that way, when you open it up, you always see all the, th- you do all these different things, you know, shticks. okay? So, maybe they cut off the zman which was on the bottom. Fine. You had, a get empty space, and then time. And then on the top, it continued. Maybe you cut off just the last line. You left space, but you just cut off the last line, which had the time. So, hence, the same thing. Right? Over here, so, to on the top, you also had space. Meaning, not only was there space on the bottom, so you know you didn't cut off anything on the bottom. There was space on the top, so you know you didn't cut off anything on the top. Because there's space. Okay? So, says the Gemara, Vedilma Imluch, we're going to go to the two, to the two dots. Vedilma Imluch Imlach. He says, on Pechet Amudala, from the top, 88A on the top. Maybe the husband is going to decide not to divorce her. Vekatav, and then he's going to write the rest of the get there. So, I answer the Gemara, Vekatav are at milmata, muteret milmala. Uh, he wrote down Hare'at on the bottom of the right on the right section, and then he wrote down Muteret on the top. Mm-hmm. Okay, nowadays, by the way, we are Makhidim that we have to write Hare'at Muteret Lechol Adam on the same line. That means it, doesn't, it has to be on the same line. Hare'at Muteret Lechol Adam. Right? So we cannot do any tricks. Yeah. Right, they can't do any tricks. The Dilma Yitzramele, he says, maybe he's going to come and he's going to decide, that, uh, maybe not like that, uh, that uh, maybe Bemet, he's not going in the middle, meaning he's saying, Hare'at, oh, you know, I'm not going to divorce her. He says, no, you know, yeah, yeah. Says no. In the middle of a statement, the guy's not gonna change everything, you know, like uh, not like that. Right? And the next answer, Vashi says, He says, No, it's nikar from the bottom of the um right from the way that the cloth is, the way that it was, that nothing was meaning it was a cloth. So you could tell that the way that it was formed, that nothing was cut off. Right. Nowadays we do it on a paint piece of paper. Right? But in the olden days, they would do it on a cloth or things like that. So therefore, you were able to. Because nowadays, you could just work, you know, regular paper, but it, it doesn't erasable. You know, like a nice piece of paper, halak, you know, nice. It's not usually it's like tra- tracing paper and things like that. Like, you know, these types of paper. That's what they come and they actually use for the, okay, a wonderful day. Is that cool?